In this video, I will give you an introduction to the B1UP SQL Reports new chart designer. SQL Reports in the past only had the option to work on grids. You didn't have to view type, but now you can work with charts. And the first time you do that and you write a SQL, in my case, a very simple one, um, you will be presented instead of the report with the chart designer. If you, for some reason, uh, close this uh, and want to get back to it. Uh, you can do that by running the report again. And as a super user of B1UP, you have the design button and you need to go into the designer in order to begin to design your system. The designer itself consists of three areas. It consists of our uh, tree where we have all the different elements of the chart, of the the chart itself. So for example, if we wanted to have a chart title, we can go in and say there's zero of those, but we want one with the plus, put it in, uh, and any element you can get rid of again by deleting it, or if you want to temporarily get rid of it, you can say you don't want to see it, it should not be visible or not. Uh, so that's the way you put data in. For, for series themselves or for data, we press the series button here, or we press this one, and we say, okay, we want a series, and we want to have a bar chart, and it will come in there, and we will uh, show and hide them in the system. When the series comes along, we will also get some X and Y axis, and we can again show and hide them. In the middle, we have a preview of our chart. And as long as we haven't really told it anything about how our data should be represented, it will just show some generic version of a chart. Uh, we can go in and see different charts. So if we want to say it's pies we're working with instead. So this is a way of changing the chart type without needing to get rid of it and go back. So we can go in and do different charts and, and, and data. Um, so it's almost a true representation of how the data will be in the final result. There's a few small things that won't show in the designer, uh, but I will mention those in, in other videos. Then on the right hand side, we have where we actually put in our data. And this over here basically have no, most of the time, an option and a properties. So options is the most common things, and for uh, lightweight users, they, they are the ones where you go in and set if you want to have different things, if you have how the, uh, the grid in this case should look like, how the access, access should look like, and so on. Uh, or you can go into properties, will have which will have all the, the properties in, in general. So this is the easy version and this is the nerd version of the same data. Um, I tend to use the properties because I know I can get every uh, single one of the, the options to that I need to set in the properties instead of only the options. When you work with the series itself, it also have a data button. Uh, where it will show you a representation of your data. In my case, it was two columns, so I have the data, and I needed to drag them on into argument and values of how, what, I, what the argument of the chart should be, what the values should be, and so on. I have, we have a several video on that as well. Um, if you make a mistake, you can always go and undo and redo things uh, in the system, and you can always say cancel and not save what you have have done in the system. 